Good morning, guys. Yes. Let me just turn this off. Yes, I'm in my car in my robe. Um, <laughs> my dog is going to the bathroom, but I needed a quiet space to talk about this. It's literally 11, 10 30 in the morning. <laughs> um, and as you can tell, I have not been posting a lot lately. And I just feel really bad because I love YouTube so much, but my mental health has not been okay and i just have not had any motivation or any drive to do anything and i am just like so upset with myself because i just love youtube so much i love being able to create videos i love being able to share my little boring life with you guys um it's just so fun for me but i wanted to let you guys know that today november 10th november 10th this morning i started a medication for my depression anxiety and ptsd um i've mentioned like trauma that i went through as a teenager um a little bit but not like to extent of it i don't know if i will ever go into that i know over the years i will talk about a little bit but not a lot the synopsis of it i a lot of stuff happened in my family like my parents divorced and then a lot of major things happened to where I went into foster care for a little bit but like my grandma took guardianship so like I wasn't really in foster care but I was still in foster care enough to get all the help from social workers and like all the help from the government so I do have a lot of childhood slash teenage I don't know if it's called teenage trauma teenage trauma I'm just gonna call it childhood for the sake of it because that's literally all people talk about is childhood trauma and over the years I had I have had depression and anxiety ever since I was 16 and it going going on with that um and I did take medicine when all that happened um and I was doing therapy for like a whole year and it was really good but then I graduated high school and I quit my medicine so I don't know why I did that I don't know why but I did and then I stopped therapy and I went to college and then my dad passed away and that majorly killed me on the inside um that's like the worst thing you could ever go through is having your parents die before you or obviously your children dying before you but um i was really close with my dad obviously and i love both my parents but i've always been a daddy's girl like every time i would um have to get stitches or staples he would take me to the hospital it was just always that so i um i all of us kids took it the same but i i want to say i kind of took it the hardest but i'm not sure i have five siblings so i'm not sure who took his death the hardest but it was extremely hard to me it still is i'm still grieving i will never stop grieving um but i am doing a lot better but over the last three or four years i've noticed my depression especially during the holidays of course gets worse but lately like the last two years my anxiety is so bad like i feel like i'm going crazy um the past month i have been like hearing songs in my head playing over all the time you guys are gonna think i'm crazy like waking me up but then as soon as i get up for the day i don't know the songs um my mind keeps racing all day long with worry and and anxiety and like all these scenarios that don't even make sense like i can't turn my brain off my work is very triggering because of working with traumatized kids so um, I talked to a uh, um, psych psychologist, psychi psychi no, psychiatric, er. psychiatrist, and um, she was telling me how I have PTSD from my childhood trauma, and although it did get better, my environment, which is like my workplace, seeing all those kids with their trauma is triggering me, and it's like bringing all the trauma that I processed and healed from like back up and so i am facing those again and it made sense because i've been having flashbacks to my trauma and things that i went through and i've really i've been disassociating a lot um and on top of that with all the new trauma that i've had with this work since i've been working since i started here a year ago um that just adds on to it so everything is just like piling up 
and I told myself I know I don't want to go through winter extremely depressed and full of anxiety again because I don't know how I made it out last winter I'm not, I don't have any how did I survive I was extremely depressed I don't know what got me through it probably YouTube and um I, yeah i'm here to say that i started medication today and i'm really excited to get back and to be enjoying life again without having anxiety all day long and worrying about stupid things things that are literally killing me on the inside for no reason and i know this medication works because it helped me when i was younger so i'm just really ready and excited to start this journey of being on medication again and working myself up to enjoying life again because there is no reason I should be feeling like this. Yes, I have a lot of trauma, but like I can get through this and I just really need the extra help. I'm also starting therapy soon, so that's gonna help as well. I did pick up some self-help books, so those are probably gonna be books I'm gonna be reading a lot. I'll st I still love my dark romance, but I have a couple self-help books that I'm really interested in in and one that my therapist um recommended to me so i'm gonna start that today so yeah this is just a fresh start and i hope that you guys stay with me on this journey of this fresh start that i'm taking with my mental health and actually getting better um i just want to be happy again to be honest and i just should not be feeling this way you know um so yeah i am extremely excited about this and i'm ready to get started on my mental health journey again so I hope you guys come along with me and I will be doing updates, probably like a weekly update for medication. I'm just, yeah, I'm really excited. So leave me a comment how you guys are doing, any tips, any advice for me. Yeah, I'd love to chat in the comments. You guys know that. So leave me anything you want. Please be kind. Um, this is a very tough subject for me. So I'm just, please be kind. I'm hoping this will help me get back on track. <laughs> my chickens are running around like crazy i think it's because they've been locked in their pen for the last two days so we let them out and they're just running around in the yard back and forth let me know how you guys are doing and i'm gonna go back inside and enjoy the rest of my coffee i gotta warm it up start reading that book so thank you guys so much for watching this video leave me a comment down below and i will see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>